Hi, welcome back. Now we're moving up to the 12th position. So we're at the 12th fret. We're starting on two one three fives. Actually, three one three fives here. So we're at here in the grand scheme of things. We're here, starting here. So one three five, one three five, one three five. We have a shift for the universal shift. And one two four, one two four, and then one three five. Okay, so in the grand scheme of things, the big picture. We're starting on three one three fives, which are here. Three one three fives, universal shift. Two one two fours and two one three fours. Three one three fives, universal shift, and then we have a B string shift. So we're going to shift again, and we have a, another one two four and a one three four. So it sounds like this. Play it since this this is the um, twelfth fret, which is an open open note. So if you want to play it down there, you can do that as well. So one more time. Three one three fives. We do a shift for the universal shift. We do a one two four, and then we have to shift again for the B string, and then one three five. some exercises we can start with the probably the most useful one I like is just every other note What you should also do on these is kind of experiment, which is a kind of so if you just start doing like skipping notes, it's an arpeggio. So if you do arpeggios, say three note arpeggios. Do fours, that's fives. Do fours, Do 
fives. I mean, you fives, there's a trick. You're not going, you're not starting on the one, then you start on the three, and you start on the five, seven. So you're going. But you want to keep your fingers, you want to keep your fingers going in, in uh, continuous motion, so it'll be. You don't jump back up. You could. You could do that. I mean. Doesn't sound that great. Better if you just go to the one, start on the one, start on the three, start on the five. So your fingers stay in continuous motion. Fives are kind of hard. You take a little practice. But it kind of makes your hand kind of keep going in continuous motion. And it sounds better too, actually. So, and notice I'm playing these like this down here. It's hard. Down here, I would play it with ones like this. I don't know either way, but it's up here. It's a lot easier to do with your third finger. Sixes. Sixes are easy. Pretty easy. Sixes. So you're doing every note twice. I mean, every string twice, except for the first one. First one you do once, and you go to the next one. You go. So, and the second string again. Anyway, something to work on. Okay. So that's this position. We have one more position. Do the 14th fret, and then we'll be done. We've done the entire neck using one position, one pattern. Okay? So I'll see you next time. Keep practicing.